My first team has a man that everyone respects, admires, and strives to be like in any way possible. He is who they think of when they wake up in the morning and who they think of when going to bed at night. It also has another man whom everyone fakes those emotions towards because frankly he runs the company and they're afraid of getting fired. It's Matt Holm and Chris Damaris. My second team met on the set of filming Laser Team where due to their mutual love of Hot Pockets, Family Matters reruns, and the entire Twilight book series, they quickly became the best of friends and immediately started plans on creating what is sure to be the next hit sitcom comedy, Bernie and His Johnson. It's Bernie Burns and Kirk Johnson. I'm your host, John Reiser, and welcome on the spot. for you, Bernie. I hope so. Yeah. Hey, welcome back to On The Spot. We didn't get canceled. <laughs> yeah. Actually, John, that's well, why we <laughs> called you here today. God damn this it. This is a meeting. <laughs> yeah. Kirk's here to officiate. <laughs> <laughs> I, thank you so much for coming to the premiere of On The Spot. All of you. Thank you Every for having one us. one of you. Question mark. Even yeah. Chris. Yeah, sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Welcome back to On The Spot. Well, it's, uh, not, it's nice to be in a room with Matt where we're not firing somebody. That's always nice, yeah, right? We're, oh, yeah. It's so, nice to be So we're room. not doing that here? <laughs> no, no. Okay, just well, whenever I loses. see you, I assume that's what the objective is for, that's the, whoever loses. for the meeting. Wait, no, Matt. Oh, when we fire it? people, that comes with severance packages. These are called layoffs. <laughs> that's right. That's what this is. Thank you. You were so good on the management talk today. You were like, you're on the ball. John got upset because I, I threw like three management words at him in a row. Like synergy and, mm -hmm. and uh, what was it? Paradigm. Paradigm. There was you go. Paradigm there? chef. There you go. And then monetize. That's my personal favorite. Influencer. Influencer. Monetize your, <laughs> Influencer. If you have synergy, you can monetize your paradigm. Listen to you. <laughs> but if you don't have any of those, then 401k. They're 401k. Wow. Thank you. Matt's stock, talking stock like, market. <laughs> like an actionized influencer. I like, to, like, <laughs> I like to think throughout this game, like Matt's going to give Chris like cookies for like good job he does on stuff. <laughs> good job, Chris. Good job. I love cookies. I'm just not going to take away the cookies. <laughs> yeah. All right, He's so gonna... we got to get to games in a second. Um, before we get to that, uh, we have one order of business that I need to ask for. We're going to play impromptu pitch later, so if you guys want to send your person, place, and genre uh, suggestions to hashtag on the spot, we might use some good ones for these guys to play later. All right? Can I tweet one so I can like have a leg up in this thing? Yeah. Okay. Make sure uh, in the booth you guys use uh, Bernie's. Yeah. How do you spell Hullum? So you guys need team names so that people can uh, cheer and jeer you via social media. Um, you guys, what's your team name? Uh, my team name is... Our team name is... <laughs> our team name is... <laughs> my, I'll go with my team. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hashtag my team. <laughs> I like that. that. That feels very, like, inclusive. Yeah. Yeah, it's my team. Yeah. Right, Chris? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Good Correct. answer, Chris. Correct. All right, so we got, uh, we got my team. What do we got over here? Well, after those intros, um, I wanted to be team. I was told there would be cookies. But uh, <laughs> based on the feedback we got when we put out the poster, Kirk and I discussed it, and we decided to name ourselves uh, Team Who the Hell is This Guy? Yeah. So. Hashtag Who the Hell is This Guy? <laughs> I think you, it's a good name. Yeah. <laughs> Tune in to find out. Yeah, Tune in. Tune in. <laughs> You'll know after this show. This is Spence. It's like, it's going to build throughout. People are like, who the hell Bernie is this guy? He doesn't have shoes on. Yeah. <laughs> well, I they, never do. Yeah. It's like, a, I got like a foot thing. Oh, I don't sure. want to talk about it. <laughs> we could talk about your yeah, foot thing. Yeah, let's talk about want. it. No. What's no. your foot thing? I, I saved that for Omegle. How you doing, everybody? <laughs> That's my Snapchat. Can, subscribe to me on Snapchat. <laughs> Why do you subscribe to somebody on Snapchat? <laughs> you don't subscribe. You don't? You just send them a picture of your dick and then that's it? Right. Yeah, that's what I do. Fair enough. All right, so this is what you guys are fighting for, Golden Gus. Wow. No, you can't have it. I don't know. You have to, you have to win it, and then I'll give it to you. I don't want Gus. Okay. Right. <laughs> Everyone wants Gus. All right, let's move on to our Golden first Gus. game. Golden Gus, wow. That's actually, how long has that been with us? Like two months? It's already more valuable than Gus is. <laughs> I don't know He's if been it's been 12 years. It's slowly turning into Copper Gus. <laughs> Gus, <laughs> Gus is slowly turning to old fat Gus, so that's okay. <laughs> I don't know about slow. Uh, let's play a game called Cunning Linguistic. <laughs> Uh, kind of the question is a game where we went on to Urban Dictionary, we found some words or phrases, and we're going to give them to the teams. Each team will get a word, and they'll get an opportunity to have a, uh, two definitions for that word. If they get it right, they get points. If they get it wrong, the other team gets one opportunity to come up with a rebuttal definition. If they get it right, they get points. If nobody gets it right, I give uh, points to whoever's wearing their shoes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, uh, my team, let's yes. start off with you guys. Find out what your first word is. What mm. could be textile dysfunction? Huh. Mm. Uh, you put your shirt on backwards. 
<laughs> We're starting off strong, everybody. Oh, baby. <laughs> it's a textile. What if, what if, what if, what if, what if it's more so referencing texting? I, well, I thought you were going to say that, but that'd be the easy answer, John. Okay. Yeah. I didn't want to go the obvious route. Right. Like you would do. Right. Done. I mean, just give us the award now. <laughs> I feel like I feel like we need a meter, <laughs> a meter under John that slowly fills up over the course With of the hatred? show. It's like how close he is to being fired. <laughs> like, that's it. I want to get as close as possible to the end of that. Like at one end is your face, and the other end is a cardboard box with everything <laughs> from your desk in it, basically. Um, Chris. All right. Well, it's going with texting. If it's not when you put on your shirt backwards. All right. It is. Uh, going. It's when you're texting a nudie pic. And you send it to the wrong person. Oh, okay. Like, you've heard the story where Josh, Josh sent me you his, his dick. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's like that. That was a textile dysfunction. <laughs> what was it he texted right after no, you it? No, it which also went with erectile he said, dysfunction. He texted, it was all, it was all sorts of dysfunction. <laughs> sorry, I couldn't see what I was doing because my shirt's on backwards. <laughs> <laughs> over my face. <laughs> okay, sure, Matt. Uh, do you get disappointed with your kids when they put their clothes on wrong? <laughs> Do they do that anymore, or is it just my kids? That's a textile retarded? dysfunction. They, yeah. put my, they put my clothes on when I'm not looking. When, <laughs> when Teddy comes up to me and he's got a shirt inside out and backwards on, I'm like, you got that completely wrong. You're, you just, could you're, not, just, you're not connected to you like... You could not have fucked that up worse, possibly. <laughs> I've worn my shirt backwards in t an entire day and not realized. It's like, man, this shirt doesn't fit like I thought it did. You have the mental like, capacity of, of Bernie's children. Yeah. <laughs> Teddy's in third grade, by the way. I'm glad you two can connect. Co writer of Laser Team, right there. <laughs> <laughs> he spelled the title. <laughs> All right. So that wasn't uh, exactly the uh, answers that I was looking for. All right. So you guys have one opportunity to come up with an answer. What do you guys think? Do you, what, which one do you think you got it? Well, I'd like to say tell you subscribe to people on Snapchat, but we got anything? Um, yeah, I think, uh, I think textile dysfunction is when you. Um, when you read out loud in class and you get really nervous and um, Bernie's getting so nervous and, 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 and so you start to say words wrong. Are you in class now? Yeah, and, and, <laughs> and, and the teacher's looking at you and you sweat and maybe you, maybe you toot. <laughs> <laughs> just a little bit. Let's just a little, just a show, tiny okay. toot. But, but I think that's, I mean, I think we've all experienced that in third or fourth or Yesterday College. grades, yeah. <laughs> or like when I have to read anything at all, ever, yeah. Like contracts in front of a room full of people, and I just start crying. Do you they read contracts corner. out loud to people? That's all actually one yeah. of the games yeah. today, isn't it? It's during severance uh, discussions. <laughs> You'll we'll find out about it in about <laughs> yeah. thirty minutes. This, this is cold. You specifically signed That's this. <laughs> the show is never going to end, so I can't get fired. Uh, let's find out what the real definition was. Your cell phone's anticipatory word feature chooses random and often inappropriate substitutions for an otherwise innocuous text message. Huh. So it's when your phone learns odd words for like the uh, the predictive text and puts them in instead. It happens so to be, like uh, instead of so shirt, Matt, phones of modern age <laughs> textile and, text shirt, and yeah. instead, instead it says motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> it says backwards. Shirt. See, yeah. I, I once had a situation where I was like sexting with a girl and it autocorrect to I want to vomit on you. <laughs> yeah. What were you sending? Did you? Send I don't it? even remember. What did you, you want to? Yeah, what did you want to do on what top did you of her? Do on her? I don't remember. I, I, I bet you could think. I, let's come back to that. No, 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 no. You could, I'm you just saying. Let's it. just throw out suggestions. There what were a lot of. There, I'm, it was a. It was a confusing autocorrect business. All right, so no one vomited. <laughs> I can't think what could autocorrect a vomit. Was it volumes? You want to do volumes I, was, of something I, all over? I was just like you know, maybe I was drunk. I don't know. <laughs> I want to varsity on the you. Best, wanna... The best part is when Chris does that. I don't know if he's texting or if that's how he interacts with girls in person, <laughs> like just like this. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> 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 I've seen him. I've seen him. Well, that, right yeah. before this, I did a Periscope, and I said we were having the on-the-spot pregame, and it auto-corrected pregame to P-game, <laughs> which was a way better Periscope, <laughs> probably. <laughs> that too, we did that, but we didn't, we didn't yeah. stream that part of That's it. That's going to be one of Stream? our streams. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what? Hey. All right. Uh, I'm going to get points to Matt on that one. Damn Correct. Yeah. Oh. I'm going to get all the points. <laughs> I know. <laughs> A bonus plan. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, let's Glad find you're out. still here, John. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Glad to be part of the team. Uh, let's find out what who the hell is this guy's uh, word is. P performance. Wow, we got right there. P so performance. Very. Uh, it, it kind of fits. What's going on? So P performance. What could P performance be uh, alluding to? Either one of us can take this. Yeah. Let's say. I, listen, I, I have a pretty good idea. What yeah, P, yeah, P, I P performance means. I think I a lot of people have it. Eyes. P performance is. This is for guys, not mainly for women. I don't know. I don't ever spend any time in your bathrooms. Just my 
remote cameras do. But uh, <laughs> we go into bathrooms as guys, and it's a big deal, like, how you actually perform the act of peeing. Like, you don't want to get too close to a guy to urinal. But there's, and there's other nuances as well. Like, when you're peeing, you want to have a solid stream, yeah. you know? You also don't want to spend too much time afterward, like, shaking stuff up or anything. Yep. And often people have performance anxiety. They can't pee in a public place. Yeah. Very sad for them. That's so what pee performance is. pee performance not able to perform peeing, or is it all the things you said before that? No, the anxiety is okay. what prevents you from performing your pee performance at the top of your game. It's a ranking. Yeah. 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 It's actually a minor at Juilliard. Not many people know that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, when, when, I'm, when I'm anticipating pee performance, I, like, get myself starting ready to go pee before I even get to the stall. Talk about like, I'm, it. I'm, getting, I'm getting it, like, you know, the train ready at the station. And sometimes the you end up Pissing your pants a little. But that's better than no. not, like, peeing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, you're right. So as you piss your pants a little bit afterwards, yeah. I, I, I had a discussion recently with the younger member of our staff. He's look, if you get some piss on your leg, just spill water on your shirt, then it's the sink's fault. Uh -huh. Then you know. Then Chris? You, yeah, it was Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I said also your shirt's on backwards. <laughs> All right, that, that was actually pretty close. Uh, Kirk, what do you got? Sure. Uh, P performance, guys, is um, say you're at the airport. Um, I'm at the airport. Yeah, you're at the airport. You walk in, a bunch of uh, men of different age ranges coming to a stand-up <laughs> urinal. How is this mm -hmm. age ranges? It's low age, <laughs> high age. And, 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 and so P performance is when you, you get really excited about your P and the sounds that you're going to make. So if I'm an old guy... <laughs> And I'm an old guy, and I go into the bathroom, and I'm like, a couple of young pups around here. And then so you go in, and you unzip, and that's, that's the start. That's like the requiem. And then it, and then it goes into, like, and it's like an opera of pee. So that is a pee performance. Yeah. And it always ends the same way with, like, a... And then, like, maybe even a... Just that silent. A little like salsa yeah. jiggle, you know? <laughs> and that's a pee performance. There you go. You know? And then you bow. You bow and then you <laughs> get like dirty bathroom <laughs> all over your forehead. But Only if you're an amateur. Yeah. Wow, that, that, I, that, I was moved by that. Gotta be right. Yeah, copyright. <laughs> yeah. Copyright from the spot. Uh, what do you guys got? You got, when you got, I got one? It's close. That's close, mm -hmm. but okay. it's more like, you know, when you go to a bathroom and it, the, you're, your stream makes a very loud sound when it hits the water, and then you realize it almost sounds like you're hitting a snare drum or something. Oh, yeah. yeah. The echo off the bathroom walls. So then you can just kind of mix it up, and it starts like a little dubstep action. <laughs> you're trying to hold it, you know? Yeah. And pretty soon you got a whole crowd that's, you know, <laughs> gathered around. Yeah. And they're dancing, you come out, and everybody's high fiving you. It's, <laughs> Before they wash their hands? After they wash their hands? Oh, oh, while, during, after, before, nice. the whole thing. I mean, everybody's so excited, they can't, you know. Who's going to stop? The pre pee performance to wash their hands, you know. Sometimes so snapping. <laughs> yeah, the whole thing. Snapping. The old beatniks in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. A lot of beatniks love uh, <laughs> beatboxing pee performances. Exactly. Yeah. Right. You don't want to interrupt the flow. <laughs> Let's find out what the real definition was. Standing and peeing directly into the water with the door open. Standing and peeing directly so into the water. So, like, when water. you go into the restroom, mm. you don't even put, like... <laughs> <laughs> what are you <laughs> supposed to do? That's, That's not I, missing. I do that all the time. <laughs> no, it's, it's, like, specifically that, like, you go into, a, like, even, like, a public restroom, you don't even close the door, you stand there, you're peeing directly into the water to make the loudest sound possible. I just did that. <laughs> well, then so are, you, the out, are you outside of the door? I, I, that's like that's like. A, Is it like a distance contest? That's yeah, like, I've done backing that. up yeah. as you go. Yeah, I've done that. Yeah. See Every, how far back? No you one go. ever wins. Like, it's like limbo. Over the wall. Oh shit. <laughs> um, so we're all guys here. Who's the loudest peer in the office? Do you have that? Do you have a consensus on that? Kirk's right. ready I don't to work take it right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm freelancing. Kirk's rookie of the year. <laughs> Can we get a water bucket so we can test this out? Can we is, just that, is that the challenge? That's, is that, oh, we'll save that for redemption Is challenge. it bad that I actually know who is associated with the Richard Heath is the loudest peer? Who is it? Is it me? It's Dan Grucci. No, your shirt's on backwards, by the way. Uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he looked down. He looked down. <laughs> he was very concerned. Uh, no, it's Dan Grucci, actually. Five points to Bernie for hey. getting Chris to look down. Hey, look at that. He actually, Gavin would commented all the time so then Dan, Dan started sending Gavin videos of him peeing. <laughs> oh is that where the, the dick one came? Yeah but he didn't know that the bar at the bottom where the record button is it records that information as well. Uh, you just don't see it until you send it to somebody so he was inadvertently <laughs> sending Gavin videos of his own dick. Like, just, just a tip. And peeing. Yeah. Which is a uh, textile dysfunction. 
Yeah, is. that is. Minus five points. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Man. I like how Matt's on his team, and he's like, oh. <laughs> you share points. It's my team. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's my team. <laughs> it's your team. So, yeah, Chris Watch lost out. points. I don't know if Matt did. We'll figure that out. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> Chris. Matt did not. Okay, so, Booth, Chris lost points. Matt didn't. You figure that out. Yep. Um, and the winner of that round, I'm going to give to Bernie because he got, I think, closest to well, it. Well, but I'm on Bernie's team, too. We need to remember. We're sharing points. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's community effort. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I'll give points to Bernie, but I think your definition actually makes a better definition for P performance. There you go. Um, so I think, I think that should change. All right. Uh, let's find out what team, uh, my team, uh, his next <laughs> word is. <laughs> Cookie duster. <laughs> <laughs> This is one of those words that I had my I had my choices already picked out, and then I found this. I was like, "This is for on the spot." Cookie duster, Chris, with that face that just reeks confidence. Well, you know, <laughs> I, I just keep thinking of Okie Cookie. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, Can I explain that now? All right. So, so Okie Cookie. cookie uh, it's when uh, it's kind of like a, it's uh, so it's a it's a circle jerk. Thing right, uh, yeah, but which circle jerk thing, Chris? Come on, so fill us circle, all in. So a it's a thing. Cir- it's one of those. So it's, a, it's when a group of guys in a circle all masturbate. The last one to finish has to eat the cookie that they masturbate oh, on. Oh God, right? it's a, a cookie, <laughs> uh, aka wet biscuit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, For our UK the, fans, <laughs> yeah. I guess the cookie duster, AKA the Nabisco Initiative. <laughs> a lot of names. I guess the cookie duster is the person who cleans up the crumbs. <laughs> <afterwards>. <laughs> but if it's a big group, there, there won't be a lot of crumbs. Because no. it'll be saturated. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, Matt. It's when, you know, beforehand you tell somebody that if they do a good job as your partner on a show called On the Spot, <laughs> you're going to get a cookie. <laughs> But if they do a bad job, you will just smash the cookie <laughs> and point to it, and it's just all crumbles and dust. That's a cookie duster. And that, that round was a cookie duster. It's n- <laughs> <laughs> Sounds Yes, sir. <laughs> I don't think I'm the one who's going to get fired today. <laughs> I think I picked the right scapegoat. Um, neither of those were there. When do you guys think you got it? Do you got it? No, I want to hear what you have to say. Yeah, first. I have an idea. I think, um, I think a cookie duster is when you, you're at a music festival. Maybe uh, you're looking to score some um, some smack or some hooch. As but, one does. But at this at this particular festival, you just got a hankering for some sweets. So you're Are you looking at a performance. What kind of musical <laughs> huh? event is it? The, no, well, yeah, this is a different musical event. But a cookie duster is the guy that carries around in his pockets. He always has little crumbs of cookies, and so. <laughs> You find him at the at the music fest, right, Bernie? Yeah, oh, absolutely. You absolutely. remember? We, we already we talked about this. Get you find back. him at the music dust at the music dust fest. <laughs> um, and I love that festival. The music dust fest. Yeah. yeah, it's just like old music. But you find him and you get some of that cookie dust, and problem solved. <laughs> what's problem the solved. What's the currency to get cookie dust from the cookie duster? That's a good question. There's tokens. Yeah. There's tokens. <laughs> you got to go. There's a cookie dust um, kiosk that you got to pay for the tokens first, and mm-hmm. then you got the tokens, and then you approach the cookie duster. Yeah. And I feel like it. we need to integrate this into RTX this you year. You could also like save up like five proof of purchases from Smack sure. and then mail it in. From yeah. Smack. Yeah. Smack. The person Smack. send you back one of the tokens. That's another way to do it. Yeah. Yeah. But all the proceeds go to schools. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. is true. Sure. Yeah. So Guys, support your local schools. Everyone seriously. wins. Everybody wins. Who wouldn't win? Let's find out what the real definition was. Sorry, Bernie. A full mustache capable of dusting the tops of cookies. That's <laughs> close to what I had. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have to give points to what someone. Mean dusting the top of cookies. You know, yeah, what got, does that even mean? You know, like the Tom Selleck mustache, and when you eat a cookie, it's like it dusts the top of them. Like that's how that's how full the mustache is. Why is there is, dust on yeah. a cookie? No, like, old like the, the, the mustache is the duster. Tom Selleck always leaves his cookies out. <laughs> they get all dusted. You gotta age them cookies. <laughs> yeah. Nah, dude, imagine the move if you've got the full mustache cookie duster and you go to one of Chris's circle jerk scene oh, parties. Oh, man, yeah. yeah. You know, that'd be a tough one. That mustache would come out yeah. nasty on the other end of that. It's more like a dick broom at that point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Can we make a definition for dick broom on <laughs> Urban Dictionary, please? What is something doing on the Urban Dictionary that's not related to sex? Too? Yeah. <laughs> what, what, why did something make it it's on Urban Dictionary? It's definitely a challenge to find. It is. But there are stuff there, like cookie duster. Everybody likes a sex definition. Yeah. Better. So we'll go uh, to Chris on that one. Wow. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, wait, he's getting points? <laughs> yeah, we'll give Chris points. Wow. No, I, I, I share his points. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to make sure that Do you I, not don't want share, those? I don't share his negative points. <laughs> Do you not want the I points only, for that I one? only share his positive oh. points. I just want to make sure that that's on the record. Yeah. So but, make sure that's in the graphic as well. Yeah. Um, let's find out what our last uh, word is for team who the hell is this guy. <laughs> Channing all over your Tatum. Oh, Jesus. What? Of course. Is Channing all over your Tatum? <laughs> Involves Ambien. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, Channing all over your Tatum is actually, that's a thing. Chris, you probably know a lot about this from your circle jerk parties. But uh, it's uh, whenever you go see Magic Mike, and this is very timely because the sequel to Magic Mike is coming out. Yep. Uh, that's when you go to a theater by yourself. Uh, and the person in front of you is your Tatum because they're right in front of you. And it's when you reach a really nice little scene in there and you're by yourself and you're having a good time and you're accidentally chanting all over the Tatum in front of you. So it's when you oh. hit somebody in the back of the head during a really elaborate scene of Magic Mike. Of Magic Mike, yeah. yeah. And who hasn't done that, for Christ's sake? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Guilty. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, we almost want you to move forward, but in case there's another definition, Kirk, do you have an idea? Well, I have an idea. Thing. Yeah. Um, Channing all over your Tatum is when you're a fan of, again, Channing Tatum, but uh, Channing Tatum. Um, <laughs> that's, that's your pet name. Yeah, right? I call him Tatles. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, when you're a fan of Channing Tatum, but specifically in Jupiter Ascending. Oh, so what Jesus. you do is you get Jupiter Ascending on Blu-ray or DVD, but you cut in scenes from Jackie Chan's movies. So you take Chan and put it in your Tatum, <laughs> thus Channing all over your Tatum. Yeah. Because you want a little more, like, connected. Pratt Folly fight scenes, maybe some bloopers at the end. That's what you call chanting all over your Tatum. And Ch actually, when Jackie Chan reads Jupiter sending dialogue, it actually makes sense. It's believe so it or good. Not. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. It has to be filtered through a non-English speaker first. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually found in translation. Yeah. Uh -huh. It is. Yeah. Guys? Uh... When you you're letting him do this, mm -hmm. I, 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 I advise against it. I want to see how bad this it. is going to go. I right. against it. Uh, Say you're at a circle jerk. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's when your uh, your girlfriend has a crush on Channing Tatum, and you uh, uh, she already has uh, <laughs> question circled. Mark? God damn it! <laughs> uh, <laughs> broke, awesome. broken, broken, John. He broke. Uh, yes. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody get Chris a wet cookie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know if that was the definition. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what the real one was. Gotta be about Jackie Chan. It's whatever the <laughs> hell you me. want it to mean. It's not dirty. It's just the name of a famous movie actor, Channing Tatum. Very good actor. Wow. And a very good yeah. looking dude. He is, yeah. So... Having to think about it a lot, I'm going to give points to uh, who the hell is this guy on that one. <laughs> Thank it you. was a tough decision. I thought we did good. <laughs> I thought you did. As a team, you guys did really good. <laughs> Matt, your performance was... <laughs> Matt's team is doing really well. Yeah. I can feel that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out what points are at the end of that game. <clears throat> wow. Oh, wow. 25. Yeah. 25 blue points. Yeah. Suck it, 20. Yeah. Suck it, red. <laughs> That's right. I feel like That's I've right. heard that before. It's a 12 year callback right there. All right, our second game is Impromptu Pitch. Impromptu Pitch. I got away from my little graphic. Mm -hmm. They get mad at me if I don't let it go. So, Impromptu Pitch is where we Do are. They gonna, get mad at you? Huh? Do they talk to you about they, it? Yeah, I don't want to talk to them. Uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not get into details. Um, so impromptu pitch is where we're gonna play where I'm the big, I'm the big studio exec. Hey. Hey. I'm the big studio exec. Look at you. And Congrats. you guys are coming to me with your next big movie pitch. Oh, that's great. great and movie. your next big movie pitch is gonna involve prompts that we're gonna pull from Twitter. Really excited about it. Yeah, so you guys will use a person, place, and genre in your pitch. You'll have 60 seconds on the clock, and the twist is you will do the pitch one person at a time, and I will decide when you switch between people. Does okay. that make sense, Matt? I wasn't listening. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. He's in pitch mode. <laughs> we'll go to uh, the uh, the current winners right now. Let's see what your prompts were. They better be good ones. Tina Fey, Tina Fey. Blaine Gibson's apartment, and it's a rom com. And this is from B Radhart nine seven seven. Okay. Uh -huh. So Tina Fey in Blaine, Blaine Gibson's. Is the guy. Yeah. 
You met Blaine. Yeah. He's a, unfortunately. He, look at you. Um, keywords here. Muscly, douchebag, Tinder. That's all you need to there know. There you go. Okay. So that's the keywords there. And this is a rom-com. So you guys have six days on the clock. We'll start off with Bernie. All right. Ready? Set, go. All right, first of all, it's very nice to see you today. Thanks for making time to see us today. We really yeah. appreciate it. So yeah. we got this great idea. Tina Fey is very interested in being in it. Mm -hmm. uh, we optioned the story of Blaine Gibson's apartment. You, of course, know who Blaine Gibson Kirk. is. Uh, we optioned that story, and what we did is we um, we we want to take Blaine Gibson's apartment, we want to make that a character of its own. We want that to live as a character of its own. Blaine. Opposite. I mean, Bernie. Okay, just gotta imagine <laughs> like this. It's its own story, but it's like Tinder meets Ookie Cookie, okay? That's the way this works. Is that it's a story of a young guy who acts like he can't get dates, but he's constantly bringing like lots of circle jerk scene guys over to his apartment. Kirk. Tina Fey. And I know what you're thinking. Where's Tina Fey? Well, <laughs> Tina Fey plays uh, a baker, and what she specializes in is cookies and cookie delivery. So what happens is Tina Fey has a hot delivery of hot cookies. Bernie. <laughs> They're called Ooty Goody Cookies. <laughs> Big mix-up. Long story short, they meet, worlds collide, they fall in love, they live happily ever after. Wow, perfect. Yeah, used all of our time. Yeah. What's the, what's the name of this film? What's the name of the film? Yeah. Um, it's called... Uh, you got your Ooty Goody in my Ookie. <laughs> That's what it's called. Good job. I mean, that was amazing. <laughs> Thank you. I'm I'm moved right I now. I would I would want to watch that movie. Yeah. That's why I invested ten million dollars into it. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait for the sequel. Um, so there's the bar. All right. It's been set. Uh, let's find out what your prompts are. Gavin Free in Russia, and this is a dark romance. Ooh. This is from Misfit Gaming What's MG. What's a dark romance? <laughs> That's a made up genre. <laughs> Such dark as romance. what? <laughs> you know, it's, it's up to you as the artist to, to define this, okay? okay? I'm not here to explain it to you. Dark you guys are supposed to explain it to me, okay? <laughs> this isn't my pitch. You got it? Yes. Okay, dark we'll start off. Dark romance, guys. <laughs> we'll start with Chris on this one. Six seconds on the clock. Ready, set, go. Pitch dark. You can't see anything. Gavin Free emerges from the blackness. And he, uh, <laughs> he, he sees in, a, in Russia. Matt. <coughs> um, a, uh, a, he sees in Russia a, uh, a tea shop. And he really wants some tea because he's fucking British. So he goes over this tea shop and there's a girl there. Chris. Uh, it's uh, uh, Natalie Portman. And she s says to him in a Russian accent, Hello, Gavin. Uh, Matt. <laughs> Uh, and of course, he doesn't speak in Russian accent, so he doesn't know what she's saying. <laughs> so <laughs> it's it's like uh, it's it's like it becomes a romance thing where uh, he's Chris. trying to figure out what she's saying, and he decides to uh, uh, to talk to a African American uh, oh, woman, uh, and Matt. And then he gets really <laughs> racist all of a sudden, <laughs> out of nowhere. It was a dark romance. That it was a dark romance. I didn't, I didn't see it till the end there. Yeah. And, and Natalie Portman has to jump up and, and defend this poor You're African out of time, American okay. You're out of time. And, and the two of them fall in love. Ship has sailed, and, and you just have to let it go. Okay? I like for dark romance. I was thinking Game of Thrones. Chris went immediately like Jackie Brown. <laughs> we, we all have different thoughts, I guess. Name of this movie. Jackie Brown 2. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Um, I'm going to give points to who the hell is this guy on that one. I really, I really want to see Tina Fey's masterful performance in this one. Yes. Who's going to play Blaine in that? Blaine would play himself? I don't think so. No. Tate, Tate no. Diggs. Yeah, Who's there Blaine? you go. <laughs> Ty Diggs, yeah. Yeah. He'd be yeah, good. Well, Justin Bieber's like maybe douchey enough. He can yeah. pull it off, I think. Uh, yeah. He works out a little bit more. Yeah. Let's find out what our points are. Oh, we how many points Whoa. we <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Disclaimer. Disclaimer. Oh, right. <laughs> What's the disclaimer? That. There we go. <laughs> 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 oh. did, you, did you do that telepathically? How did you do that? <laughs> I didn't see him do that at all. I'm going to have to go back to the tapes to see how that worked out. Well, uh, so you guys are losing. Uh, no, you're well, losing. Theoretically. Yeah, theoretically you're losing. So I'm going to give you guys an opportunity to make up points, okay? Okay. So we're going to do a redemption challenge. I have a script Four million. Here. Yeah, I was about to say we get to make up points. <laughs> yeah. Five million. I have a script here. Um, and so we're going to do a reading 
uh, of, of a scene. Okay. And so I'm gonna, uh, depending on how well you do the scene is going to be how many points you get. You guys can get up to 50 points. And so that'll bring you almost, almost to even with them. So maximum amounts 50 for how well of performance you do. Um, so you're, you're highlighted there, okay. and you're highlighted there. And uh, so I really want you guys to get into this scene as much as possible. Um, and, and, and I have a few uh, n narrator points as well. So look out for those, okay? So we're just reading, performing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know how to do that, right, Chris? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so here we go. Uh, Anakin and Obi-Wan confront each other on the lava river. <laughs> I remember this. I hope this is slash. I have failed you, Anakin. I was never able to teach you <laughs> to think. I should have known the Jedi were planning to take over. <laughs> <laughs> From the Sith, Anakin, Chancellor Palpatine, is evil. Well, from the Jedi point of view. From my point of view, <laughs> the Jedi are evil. <laughs> well, then you're lost. <laughs> well, <clears throat> this is in for you, my master. I uh, wish it were <laughs> otherwise. Anakin jumps and flips onto Obi-Wan's platform. <laughs> Ooh. The fighting continues until Obi-Wan jumps towards the safety of the black sandy edge of the Law River. He yells at Anakin. It's over, Anakin. <laughs> this is my yelling voice, and I have the high ground. <laughs> you underestimate <laughs> my power. Don't try it! <laughs> <laughs> Anakin falls, and Obi-Wan cuts his young apprentice at the knees, then cuts off his left arm. Anakin tumbles down the embankment and rolls to a stop near the edge of the lava. You were the chosen one. <laughs> it was said that you would destroy the Sith. Not join them. It was you who would bring balance to the force, not leave it in darkness. Obi-Wan picks up Anakin's lightsaber and begins to walk away. Oh, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> you were my brother, Anakin. I loved you. <laughs> Screams in pain. And scene. <laughs> Pretty sure I need that. <laughs> did you need that? <laughs> I probably did. What? Oh, did I not need that? No, that's okay. just for them to make a point. All right. Uh, good job. That, that was, was fantastic. A better dark romance than your movie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was dark. Where as was hell. that for impromptu pitch? <laughs> yeah. Man, if only we had Natalie Portman. That would have really made <laughs> the cast. Yeah, would have made sense. Oh yeah. In the world's worst <laughs> Russian accent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Forty-five out of fifty for that one. Ooh, Chris, you failed us. <laughs> yeah, those five points were pieces. <laughs> so, let's move on to our last game, which is Think About It. Think About It is a game where I'm going to give each team a question. They will answer the question one word at a time, back and forth between teammates. They will have 60 seconds on the clock to come up with that answer for the, for the question. The twist is, is that anytime they hear the bell, the other, <laughs> the other team gets an opportunity to interject with a word, and the team has to continue on using that word in their answer, and so on and so forth. Does that make sense, Matt? I wasn't listening again. Good. <laughs> We're going to start off with you guys on this one, uh, team my team. Let's find out what your question is. Hmm. How to teach a kid oh. about the birds and the bees. So, Chris, you have a lot of experience in this, so I want you to bring that to this game, okay? I mean sex, Chris, just FYI. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. uh. Don't teach him, okay? Uh, so, six days on the clock. We'll start off with Matt. One word at a time. Ready, set, go. First, you need them to listen and uh, touch <laughs> everything <laughs> that uh, moves in uh, your minivan. <laughs> because uh, it will shiver. <laughs> oh. Asexually, <laughs> your <laughs> <laughs> um, 
gearbox? So, <laughs> you <laughs> should. So I get the last should. word in their thing. <laughs> so you should. <laughs> so you should. Yeah, I think that's a good end. Yeah. I think we all learned a little something. I think they should yeah. integrate that into like the sex education talks. I learned nothing. I learned nothing. Make I learned your... a lot about Kirk as a minivan. That's what I learned. <laughs> should make your gearbox shiver asexually. <laughs> <laughs> I like you brought asexual into a sexual discussion. <laughs> Yeah, isn't that like uh, oxymoronic? To, <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a little bit. We got a little bit off track there. This is what you don't do. <laughs> <laughs> Let's read that out and see how that turned out. First, you need them to listen and touch everything that moves in your minivan because it will shiver asexually. Your gearbox, <laughs> so you should. <laughs> First, you need them to listen. <laughs> <laughs> we, I, it started off well. I don't know if it landed at the end there. But I think I think there was some. It's a complicated it. discussion. It yeah. is. Yeah. yeah, it's one of those things. I don't think there is a wrong answer. But right. if there is yeah. a wrong answer, we might have found it. <laughs> um, it's a positive message, though. Mm -hmm. You should be a caring lover. You should listen to someone before you shiver your gearbox in the minivan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. asexually. It's empowering. Asexually do that. <laughs> no cookies. No. <laughs> Not a single cookie. That's yeah. That's stage two of the lessons. Right. <laughs> Let's find out what uh, who the hell is this guy's uh, question is. How to write the next big pop song. Ready for this, Bernie? Absolutely. You this start with me? This is your moment. There you got it. Okay, start off with Bernie. Six seconds on the clock. Ready, set, go. Well, you need a big fulcrum <laughs> in order to pivot asexually. <laughs> <laughs> your emotions musically must uh, titillate your audience. <laughs> Are they, it's an audience in an Audi? Uh, uh, <laughs> in order to perpendicular <laughs> integration is very key to <laughs> all huge Vasectomies. <laughs> <laughs> so, don't listen to anything that these <laughs> period, <laughs> these period. <laughs> that these uh, these <laughs> you managed to turn anything into two words. I did. I did. <laughs> That's uh, the Oxford anything. Yeah. <laughs> Very academic on on the spot. Thank you. Yeah, um, I, I I think that's how Taylor Swift writes her songs. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. she does. She I, has a I, perpendicular <laughs> vasectomy <laughs> that's fulcrumed by a, uh, something. We Please. have a very broad vocabulary on this show. I'm really impressed. Listen, every good music career needs a pivot at some point. <laughs> yeah. You know? All right, let's read. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did. you know, like like uh, Van Gogh cut off his ear, and there's other things you can cut in yeah. order to you know. It, yeah, I just want to see where he's going with that. Yeah. In order to what? Let's I read agree. the sentence. Well, you need a big fulcrum in order to pivot asexually. Your emotions musically must titillate your audience. In order, to, in order to perpendicular integration is very key to all huge vasectomies. So don't listen to anything that these hear you. Yeah, there was Drake. <laughs> that was a Drake. Shout out to Drake. I'd, I'd like to point out the best words in theirs were from us. Yeah, they yeah. were. They kind of were. They, they definitely were. It, we were just trying to finish our uh, birds and bees talk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Vasectomies yeah. and perpendicular yeah. for You're sure. Gonna talk, uh, talk I thought we were like doing intro to science over there. <laughs> um, God, that's really tough to pick an answer. Uh, it's not that tough to talk. <laughs> All right, points to Matt. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You know, if you win, you have to come back next week. You know, that's a rule, right? I changed that rule. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out what the final points are if they, get, if they win that round. This is final points? We're done. Oh! Kirk, we did so well. I felt like we did Kirk, really good. Like good. Yeah. It was, it, was, like, it was a really good battle. I it's, feel almost, like, it's almost like the game was rigged. Classic. Yeah. <laughs> classic battle where it's like, you think somebody's going to win? Like, the really, like, good-looking, like, right. talented team who's used to winning? And then you the know, cookie the dusters. Is there? <laughs> we had the not ground. like an aggro crab <laughs> challenge or something. Yeah. What do we do that now? Yeah. <laughs> the slime's gonna fall down in the ceiling. Okay. Thanks for joining us for the first 
and hopefully not last episode of this new we'll season. See. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. Join us next week on Thursday, same time for another episode. Bye, guys. Bye.